Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we are playing some Feed the Beast. As you guys can see right ahead of us here we have a uh, new type of biome. I think this one is called Alpine I believe. Um, we have a little village over here. We have a uh, forest over here. Um, I believe these dark wood trees are rubber trees and we'll get into those later. But uh, the first thing that we're going to do is... This is a mod pack. It's Feed the Beast. You guys can download it if you'd like um, from going over to feedthebeast.com. And it's uh, pretty much it's a mod pack. So I don't, I'm not into using mods because I don't like having to go in there and install the files and all that sort of thing. But this one is really slick because it creates a brand new instance of Minecraft for you. So it does not interfere with your regular Minecraft game whatsoever. Um, right now, I'm just using the default texture pack, and it's uh, it's definitely cool because if you guys download the uh, EXE file for it, um, you can actually it installs as a new instance of Minecraft, which I think I already mentioned. But it's uh, definitely cool because you don't have to go in there and you don't have to edit everything and uh, all that sort of thing. It just automatically does it. And then uh, if you want to go back to your uh, regular Minecraft, then you just do that. The way that I downloaded it was I created a whole brand new folder called Feed the Beast. And that way when I installed it underneath the new folder called Feed the Beast, it basically just installs there. So it's pretty much Minecraft but on steroids for sure because there is a lot of mod a lot of mods that are included on this and as I mentioned it's super nice because you don't have to um, install every single one of them and yes I know guys I'm not getting every last bit of these trees so please forgive me but uh, we're doing day one here it's uh we're probably not gonna get a whole lot accomplished today just because um, it is uh, I really I have not played it I just downloaded it last night and I have not played Feed the Beast. I've watched some videos on it, but as far as that goes, I have no idea <laughs> pretty much yet what's going on. So I'm going to have to do a ton of research. And there's a reason I'm getting all this dirt. I'll show you guys in a moment here. But uh, one thing that I wanted to do quick is I wanted to show you guys how this raised minimap works. As you guys can see in the top uh, right hand corner there. Um, you get this thing called Raise Minimap, which is really cool, and I think I spawned right about here. So we're going to hit N, just like this, and we are going to actually set up a waypoint here. So we're going to hit Add, and I'm just going to call this one Spawn. And then you can uh, change your color and that sort of thing. So it's, uh, it's definitely cool. It's definitely cool. Um, like I mentioned, guys, I really have no idea... Um, what I'm doing <laughs> when it comes to feed the beast yet, but um, it looked like it looks like a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of people doing videos on it, and I was like, you know what, that looks really cool. I'm gonna try it out, and I'm using the Minecraft version of it. So when you guys uh, look at feedthebeast.com, you guys can see different um, different setups for it, and Minecraft's one of them, and it works with 1.4.6, which is really cool. And they have a couple of added things into their setup, which is like um, they have this, uh, I think it's called like the trains mod or something like that. So I'm curious as to see what that is like. And then they also have something uh, called Red Power, I believe. And I really don't know what all those mods do <laughs> by any means. So this is going to be a learning experience for me and you guys as well, I'm sure. Um, you know what? I'm just going to get the rest of this thing right here because we do have time so hopefully I can uh, hopefully this is high enough right here to uh, take them take them all out and uh, get going with the uh, first night like I mentioned we're probably not gonna do much because this is pretty much like your first day of uh, Minecraft right so it's you you want to gather all your supplies and uh, granted I've probably gathered more wood than I needed but you know what <laughs> wood is always used so uh, there that's why I'm grabbing all this wood because uh, once I grab it once um, then I don't really have to worry about it and in the middle of everything running out pretty much so this village is a little unique it reminds me of uh, like say Venice or something where they really don't have any ground um, I'm not sure how the villagers are actually getting around around so I will probably end up uh, filling this in at least do like a whole level of uh, dirt or something like that um, 
that way they they'll be able to walk around because I don't know that they're actually gonna walk around um, in the water I have no idea but uh, they might they might not who knows uh, we'll just we'll just uh, try it out by putting a stair right there for him and hopefully hopefully he uh, will be able to use that but this does have a lot of um, a lot of things already in it so it's uh, definitely cool I'm not sure if this is oh it's clay nice I like clay clay definitely works um, I'm gonna try building this up a little bit here actually let's try to just try to find an area that we can easily walk out this looks like a good size place right here so I'm just gonna build some stairs right here and this episode's not gonna be too productive guys um, like I mentioned before but um, that's okay what do we have back there Oh, okay that makes sense this is that part all right that's cool um, I'm going to try actually let's just walk over this way we'll just use this dirt right here to make ourselves a bridge to get over to the blacksmith shop here and then we can connect it here uh, just so they have a little bit of area that they can walk on we can open up the chest bronze helmet bronze apple some gold and a rubber tree sapling awesome nice basically ru rubber trees I think you can get uh, sticky resin out of it or something like that it's uh it's pretty cool um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep this a little bit more probably go looking for some uh, let's see what kind of daylight we got left here I'm just gonna prep a little bit more here guys I'm gonna probably create some tools um, I'll create some tools and uh, try to find some coal if we can't find any coal uh, actually I could just make charcoal right now that uh, makes sense so we're just gonna create some charcoal right here um, I'm not sure can I use logs okay good deal I can use logs to create charcoal that way we'll have some charcoal right off the bat as this is cooking guys you guys can see over to the side here it has all different types of things we got 52 pages now if we go back to this side I mean it's just it's crazy how many uh, different things there is in this mod and I have <laughs> no idea what all of them mean but um, the thing that's kinda nice is if you click on these I believe it shows the recipe so to get it you know you can just click on one of these it has the side map but we're not able to use it because we're playing survival right so um, you can click on the dispenser and then it will show you the the recipe for the dispenser so when you get into these more complicated type things take this for example it kinda tells you everything that you need and then w you can click on that thing and it brings up a whole nother screen on how to make that and yeah it's uh, it's very involved it looks but uh, that's that's all right I'm not sure what the item those things do but uh, we're gonna continue making up some charcoal here and uh, one thing to note guys if you do install this one of the first things that um, I basically uh, uh, disabled right away from the whole mob pack um, was the Greg's the Greg tech mod or something like that because I guess it makes the recipes really really a, a lot more um, difficult if you will um, so just just to note figured I'd let you guys know that so I've been talking for a little bit here and let's try to get some get get at least get a crafting bench working here all right here and I'm sure one of these places probably does have a crafting table in it but uh, that's all right I just want to get one going so we can make some sticks I probably could have just done this thing in the regular window but that's all right but we need we need torches so we got torches now we got wood and I'm gonna throw up a torch here and I'm gonna probably prep this out because it's gonna be nighttime soon and uh, do do some more like uh, trails so the guys can walk in and out so hang tight folks hey we'll guys we shortly. are back and I've done quite a few updates here um, I'm throwing down some fence gates here because uh, that way the um, the villagers cannot go in and out and the zombies can't break them down so um, I've kind of started that 
Um, I've already done a bunch of farming. I'll show you guys kind of what I've been up to. I've rearranged the inside of this as well, um, just so it's a little bit more organized. And we have the crafting bench here. We have our two furnaces there. The reason I did that is because um, out here we can then use them on both sides. So we can use the furnaces out here and we can use the crafting table out here as well in case we don't want to go all the way in. So uh, that's kind of where I've started. Now I'm thinking we should go do a little bit of exploring. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of supplies here, right? So I did some carrots, did some bread. Uh, did a bunch of harvesting and all kinds of good stuff. So we're going to build a boat and we are going to go cruising to see if we can find a uh, cave real quick. Um, just, to, just to see uh, how it works. And because we're on top of uh, water around here, it just seems seems to make sense to just uh, use the boat instead of running all over. Um, as you guys can see, I've also connected quite a few uh, dirt blocks around here and I've started a reed farm because as far as I know the reeds are uh, pretty important as well so um, I've done quite a quite a bit updates here figured you guys didn't really want to see all that so um, let's just go cruise to see if we can find ourselves a um, a cave we have our alpine area over there but we're gonna cruise over this way and uh, see if we can't uh, come up with a, a couple of things. Um, did some harvesting of the birch trees over there. Um, just been doing doing a lot of stuff kind of off camera, just so you guys so you guys have an idea and we can have a little bit of a start. Um, so we're gonna cruise over this way. Um, and okay, chunk, big time, holy smokes. That's pretty cool to be able to see underground like that. Nice. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We're going to cruise right over this way. Um, looks like we have a um, somewhat of a cave there. Oh, that looks cool right down there. Let's see if we can't uh, check that out a little bit. So it looks like we got some lava and some ores down there. So we will we'll just uh, jump out of the boat right over here. Hopefully the boat won't crash and it will just stay there, which is awesome. We'll throw down a uh, torch here. And uh, let's try to do a little bit of caving here, folks. Okay, this stuff, I believe, is marble, I think. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, that's marble. Okay. This stuff, I'm not sure what this is. Let's check that out. Copper. Okay. So we got marble and copper. Not too shabby. Um, like I mentioned, guys, I'm not sure uh, what everything does as of yet. So uh, we are just going to be doing a little bit of caving here and hopefully find some cool stuff. Let me throw up a torch so you guys can see. Uh, we got some green stuff here. Let's see what that is. Uh, monazite. Okay, monazite or whatever. And we got some purple stuff. Throw up another torch here. And we will take this stuff out and uh, wonder what this stuff is now. Appetite. Okay. I think you have to use appetite for something or other. So that's a, that's a success. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We got a torch up. Is it going to be light enough over here? Yeah, I think it'll be light enough. Let's uh, cruise right over here. Looks like we have some more of that green stuff. Unless it's a new new type of one. No, monazite, monazite. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. There's so many uh, different screwy names on here <laughs> that it's crazy. So we got some marble there. And uh, let's, um, let's cruise down into the abyss here and see uh, what we got. So hang tight. Folks, I will be back. Hey guys, we are back and we are going to go check this out and hopefully we won't drown or die on the way down. Um, let's just uh, hope that will be the case. Okay, good deal. Oh, that scared me. Dang bat. <laughs> you just caught on fire with lava, you stupid thing. Alright, so we got some more ores here. Um, Excorium. Don't know what Excorium is, but uh, that's all right. 
Hopefully we won't touch the lava here. And hopefully we won't have any... Oh, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's jump over to... Right over to this area right here. Whoops. I don't think I wanted to do that. Let's uh, just uh, get rid of that real quick. Okay, we got some more ores here. And I got to keep an eye out because I don't want baddies dropping on my head. So let's see what this stuff is. Tin ore. All right. Ink sack. All right. Tin ore. That crystal's pretty cool. We're going to have to go up and get that. And we'll pick up some cobblestone as we go along here. We can pick up our sand again. Granted, I was using the wrong tool for that. We got some iron, looks like, which is good. And I think this is some more copper, I believe. That would be my guess. So let's just uh, throw up another torch here just so we are on the safe side and we don't get uh, jumped, hopefully. We'll see. We got we got some stuff, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's make sure we actually hit the dang block. So guys, yeah, this is this is feed the beast. I'm not sure what everything does yet, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let me know in the in the uh, comments, guys, if you guys want to see some more of this uh, feed the beast. It's so far, it seems to be pretty pretty nifty so far. I'm going to go up and get that crystal right there. Okay. Let's uh, see here. Is nine blocks going to be enough? Maybe, maybe not. Alright. Oh, was I one, two over? Uh, yes, I was. I'm not sure if I can just use my hand for that. Oh, we got a crystal. And I hear a spider somewhere. Spider, where are thou? I'm going to throw the torch over there. And we'll uh, work our way down slowly here. I'm a little freaked out because this is, uh, this is something I've never done before. There's a spider right there. Okay. Wish I had myself a nice little uh, bow. But uh, that's all right. We can go down here, and if the spider decides to jump down, that's okay, because we can take him out at that point. So let's uh, let, let's see, where do we want to go next? I grab that crystal. I think we could go down here a little bit more. Use some of the sand that we have, and let's throw another torch right up here. Cool, we got some coal. Awesome. Coal's always good. I like seeing uh, minerals that I actually <laughs> that I'm familiar with. That uh, that definitely helps because then I know what they're used for. <laughs> so the coal, coal definitely we could use for torches and heating stuff up. And we will walk over this way. Keep an eye out for nothing else to jump us. We got some cool looking green stuff here. Hmm. That's not being cut down. Maybe I have to use like an iron pickaxe or something with that. It's a good possibility. We have anything back here? Wow, there's a lot of different minerals. Holy smokes. This is crazy sauce. I hear a bat somewhere around. Those spiders are probably right above us. And I'm going to light this area up. So we don't have to worry too badly. Nope, I don't think that's diamond. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Some of these you throw down the torch and then the uh, glow effect kind of goes away. So we got some more iron here. Let's make sure I'm lighting this up. We want to light this up properly. <laughs> it's just because I don't want to be surprised. Okay, we this continues on over that way. Not so bad. 
Can we get the blue stuff here? Yup. Man, some of these minerals are really cool. I must say, they are definitely cool. Throw it on a torch. And another torch. And guys, yes, I know I might be missing some of the uh, minerals. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want that stuff dropping down. Throw a piece of cobblestone underneath it. I might be missing some of these minerals because um, basically I'm just kind of trying to light up the cave so we don't have to worry about uh, baddies jumping us. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys don't mind too horribly there. And that one we might have to use an iron pickaxe as well. Throw down another torch right over back here if we can. Alright, good. Some more iron. Alright. Just keep an eye out. I should have my sound turned up a little bit more is what I should be should be doing. And yes guys, I'm I'm kind of following the same rules as usual. Never dig directly below you. <laughs> because you might fall in a cavern and that just is not good for anybody so did I already try doing this with the stone pickaxe nope okay yeah we are getting all kinds of minerals here I'm not sure uh, what all of them are and uh, at this point I'm just kinda gathering and then we can figure out what they what they'll do later on um, guys yes please uh, Please let me know if you guys want to see some more Feed the Beast. I think it's going to be uh, pretty cool. I'd like to start it as a new series, but, uh, you know, it's all up to you guys. If you guys want to see some more Feed the Beast, then uh, for sure, let leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see some more Feed the Beast. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. There's all kinds of... There's all kinds of extras that uh, you guys... That we can do in here and uh, the the mod pack doesn't see is not difficult to install at all not one not one bit because as long as you download the client side the um, exe it just kinda takes care of itself and it and you don't have to do anything um, I thought I heard something you don't have to do anything drastic which is really cool it's it's just a matter of you know kind of uh, getting the exe going and uh, kind of finding your way out and I'm not really sticking to my rules here too much am I I always throw the torches down on the right side when I'm exploring a place because then they are on the left side when I decide to um, go out of the place so we're gonna move that one down a little bit uh, is that more coal yeah I think that's coal um, they also have um, like uh, like some sort of oil and that sort of thing. That might have to do with the, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's called the train mod pack or what it's called, but uh, it looks pretty cool because you can totally make trains. And it's a good thing that I grabbed a few pickaxes. You can, you can make trains like passenger trains and fast trains and steam trains and coal power trains. It's like three different styles. I was watching a... Ooh, that green looks pretty cool. Um, I was watching a, um, a, a mod review from I Has Cupquake. Um, met her at uh, Minecon 2011, which was pretty cool. And she had a video up. If I remember to, I will leave the uh, the link in the description to her um, to her uh, video, and it was pretty cool. I mean, the the way that the train stuff works looked really awesome. Looked really really awesome. This stuff, I'm not totally sure what that is. Let's take a look at that stuff real quick. Crude oil. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Crude oil. Nice. Grab some of that. You never know when you're going to need some crude oil. <laughs> Is that more coal? That looks like it would just be regular coal. Yep. 
So I'm going to dig down on the side here. Just so I'm not digging directly below me. Ooh. Because there you go. That would be why. You have these little uh, caverns that basically pop up like that. And uh, we probably would have gotten some uh, good damage right there if we would have... Um, if we would have dug directly below us there so let's just throw down a torch way down here and let's make sure that we have a way out like this and that should work that'll give us a nice jump that's the stuff I think I need to use iron for so we will open this up here and hopefully no baddies will show up no, oh, might have to use an iron pickaxe there as well. So yeah, this is this is uh, definitely cool, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some more of these uh, feed the beast videos or not. Just kind of keeping an eye out. Copper, I know I'm gonna need copper. It's kind of nice once you uh, see some of the some of the new ores because then you can recognize what they look like. And uh, as I mentioned, guys, usually I use Doc M um, 77's uh, special edition of the Faithful Texture Pack, but uh, there is so many things with um, with this mod pack, and there's a skelly over there. So we are going to get out. <laughs> And boy, yeah, I wish I had uh, some of that. So let's see, let's see how we're sitting for a haul as of right now. Um, not too bad. I think we can t continue on a little bit more here. We can go try taking out that skelly, which was right over here. Come here, skelly. There you go. Done for. A big brain head. Oh, a little present. That's interesting. So again, sticking with the rules of throwing the uh, torches on the right-hand side. And we got some more coal here. So we will be collecting the coal. Because coal is like even more important now. You, you kind of need the coal to start out when you're um, making the machines and that sort of thing. And I have no idea um, the types of machines yet. Okay, I can pick this stuff up. All right. Wow, that's cool how the stuff just glows. That's so neat. And it's it's kind of nice with this uh, with this um, raised mini map too, because as you guys can see right in the uh, top uh, right hand corner there, we have um, our spawn marker marked out. And I also have. Um, I'm going to light this up real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. And hopefully I'm just going to throw down a piece of sand for now. Uh, we should be okay. Um, but for the uh, raised mini map, let me show you guys something about it. So you can go right here and you can turn on this uh, death point. And what that will do is when you um, die, uh, it will actually leave an X of where you died. So it will be a lot easier to... Um, to find your stuff and I mean I'm not saying I want to die by any stretch of the imagination but it does uh, definitely help when you're trying to go back and find all your stuff so that's uh, that's an added bonus it's definitely pretty cool um, let's see here can remove this and walk out here slowly and I think I'm gonna throw down another torch right in here yep that'll light it up a little bit better We'll go ahead and collect some more coal here. And I think I'm going to go collect that copper while we're here. Let's uh, check over here. And I'm just going to throw that down there for now. And hopefully nothing will come down this way. So we'll throw up a torch just to be on the safe side. Because I could totally see a creeper just coming right off the edge or something like that right now. And there's a spider. I hear the spider. Alright guys, I think we have a pretty decent haul going on right now. So I think we'll head back to, the, uh, to our main base. 
and just uh, kind of kind of uh, get ready for the next adventure I suppose um, once again guys leave let me know in the comments if you guys want to see uh, some more of the feed the beast here because I, I think it's pretty cool I think it would make a pretty cool series um, I don't I don't know what I'm doing by any stretch of the imagination so um, if you guys are would like to um, like to go along with the journey that would be absolutely awesome do we have more gravel up there of course we do why wouldn't we dang gravel um and i'm gonna see if i can grab this okay i can grab that good deal that looked like there might be okay maybe that's just an ore and i hear a zombie somewhere around where are you zombie i hear you um, they have these red-eyed uh, zombies in here that are just uh, really, really bad, I think. Um, really tough uh, from from what I have uh, heard and seen. So hopefully we won't uh, run into any of them. It's not diamond. Nope, that wouldn't be diamond. Um, let's go ahead and munch on a little bit of food here. Just so we are able to fill up our health bar a little bit okay and this is where we came down right here so I'm gonna get my sword up ready just in case whoops well, that's a little bit of a hole there let's fill that in right quick okay looks like we're clear clear and following our plan of where we throw the torches down now if we just follow the torches on the left side we will be able to make our way out which is definitely cool so we got some more copper here and I'm gonna grab that there we go and is this the way that we came in or is this a dead end this looks like it could be a dead end so I think we actually came down in this area right here oh we got some really cool blue really cool blue looking blocks down there um, let's see here Looks like more appetite up there. We have another crystal up there. I want to see what this blue thing is right here. Um, I think we can get there just by going like this. Since we looked right below us, we can see that uh, it should be good. And I'm going to throw down a torch on this side. Because I thought it was right there. Okay. Cool. Let's just move that out of the way. Oh, that stuff looks really cool. Really cool. Let's throw it up a torch right there. No, nope, that's not diamond. All right, yeah, let's head to the surface right now, guys. Oh, and we just spent through another pickaxe. But we're having a successful haul because we are getting some uh, we're getting some iron so we will be able to make some more um, powerful uh, tools so I'm just going to try cruising my way out of here and hopefully we should be able to get out with it without any issues alright that orange stuff up there looks pretty cool got some more coal we got another crystal up there got a little bit of a shelf up there so let's try getting out of here now swim 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 all right good deal we made it out our first caving expedition sweet now we can uh, head back to the main base and we can uh, check out what we've done 
Um, but yes, this is this is definitely cool. I heard a spider somewhere back there. Oh, it looks like we got some cocoa beans up there. That's cool. That will help out. And we can just take our little journey back to the uh, main base. And and I think I think it's pretty cool how they had how the village ends up being on the water like this because it makes some pretty fast travel times, I must say. And then you can see a villager hanging out right there. Oh no, we hit a lily pad. I guess the lily pads break the boats. Note to self, don't hit lily pads. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely cool. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. That chicken just likes hanging up on there, for sure. Got our villagers hanging out. But guys, yes, uh, we got quite a few things here. Looks like we got quite a few things here. We will go ahead and unload the stash. Wow, we got copper. That one word. <laughs> Ex I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of that. Appetite, that's good. The crude oil. Aluminum ore, I know we're going to need that. Um, tin ore, I know we're going to need that. Quartz crystal. Definitely cool. Water shard. Definitely cool. The red stuff that's like the blue stuff that I can't pronounce. And white stuff. Green. Yes, definitely cool, guys. Uh, definitely cool. I think this was success. So I'm not sure how the uh, presents work, but hopefully we can find out uh, later on. Guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see some more of Feed the Beast. And uh, yeah, I think it, I think it will be a cool series. But uh, for sure, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know. Um, this is Pool Shark Wizard. I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye bye. <laughs>